Hello, and welcome to Rural Delivery. Agri-Sea is a multi-award winning family owned and operated company making nutrient applications from New Zealand's seaweed for soil, plant and animal health. This week we'll find out how Agri-Sea's business is continuing to expand. There's increasing awareness in the primary sector of the need for sustainable food production. At the same time, there's increasing knowledge of the role healthy soil ecology has in supporting healthy plants and animals. One company that's been making use of the seashore to help in this area is Agri-Sea. Founder Jill Bradley explains how it all began. Agri-Sea grew out of our former company called Ocean Organics and we developed and researched and made liquid seaweed concentrates for soil health, really. My husband took me on a holiday, uh, being a woofer, you know, big holiday it was, you know, not lying around on a South Sea island somewhere. But, but, but it was life-changing. One of the farms we'd been on, actually, their major input was seaweed, and we noticed out of all the organic farms we'd been on, this one was different. It looked different and it, it was just amazing, you know. No disease on this farm whatsoever and it was a fungal summer so there'd been quite a lot of, you know, botrytis and those sorts of fungally uh, things about none on this farm. Major input seaweed. That's when we became interested in seaweed. Seaweed is the most complex material you can find. There's some the major minerals and the trace elements which are absolutely needed for uptake of these minerals. Really, we just began this for ourselves, not for anybody else. And then, bit by bit, people would ask us for some, and then it just went mad. So we decided to start a company, Ocean Organics, for other home gardeners. So we moved from Auckland out to the Hauraki Plains. And then farmers started coming in. Kiwi fruit people first. We're based in Paeroa. We have three factories. We have about 30 staff. Uh, we have staff all over the country, uh, field staff who are very highly educated in seaweed and soil health. We've generally just been in liquid up until now. We're using the Colonia radiata seaweed, which we ferment and we've been producing a soil product, a partial product, and an animal health tonic. Um, most recently, we've uh, diversified into a huge range of new solid products, which are very, very exciting. The benefit of the solid product is it mixes well with other inputs, resulting in a benefit for our farmers of less time and application and lower costs. We had been asked by a couple of our users of our animal tonic to take a look into the apiculture industry a lot of the guys out there with their hives are really finding that they struggle a little bit. You know, populations are going up and as a result the hive health is going down. So rather than just feeding the sugar syrup alone, they're adding the really great vast nutrients that the seaweed's adding to their mix and finding great results. The salt block was developed out of the request from farmers wanting more natural trace minerals and particularly with the salt. So we then worked with Dominion Salts to develop a, a salt block to meet that need. We were very, very pleased with the end result. We've spent a lot of years doing research. The environmental harvest of seaweed has been a big focus to make sure that we have an ongoing company for many generations to come. We've got harvesters all around the North Island collecting Eclone radiata and we've set up a research site in the East Coast that's been functioning for about seven to eight years now. We've got another two years to finish that project and creating the business case of small-scale harvesting to help economics along those coastal areas. Two years ago, we had Dr Christine Jones come to New Zealand and educate our field staff about the importance of soil function and how that can benefit farmers. And then last year, in the International Year of Soils, we had workshops across the whole country that were free to farmers. We had 700 attendees. And the feedback from that was, that's, that's really interesting stuff, but how do I do that on my farm? So we've engaged um, in a new research project that's going to be three years long. And that's looking at how farmers can safely and effectively transition from 
high chemical input farming into a more sustainable and um, economically viable way of farming. We've started a pilot study that's been a year in progress now and we're taking herbage, soil, visual soil assessments, biological soil assessments to see how it's enhancing their farm system. The thing with transitioning is it is a transition. It does take a wee bit of time to basically reactivate what's happening in your soil and let plants be able to do what they're meant to do, which is access their own nutrients. We've called this the soil's first system. It is basically fine-tuning a new system for farming. It's focused mainly on dairy farms and we're having six research sites across the country. Different climatic conditions, different soil types, and they're going to be education and research centres so that people can come and visit and learn about other ways of farming. In the first year we've seen some exciting results already. We've got increased trace elements availability coming through to the plants. We've got a massive increase in biological activity, earthworms, a reduction in the pests. Um, yeah, really pleased with the results so far in just a short space of time. Seaweed is not classed as a fertiliser, it's classed as a biostimulant. Biostimulants are growing internationally 15% year on year and that's driven by a couple of factors. One of that science, science is now catching up to figure out what exactly the seaweed biostimulants are doing at a plant level. Um, also a demand for decreased environmental impacts of farming and an increase in demand for good food. We understand very clearly that the uh, international market is wanting sustainably grown food. It's a movement that is not going to go backwards. However, for us, we don't think that everybody has to grow organically if that's not what they want to do. So for Agracy, we are very clearly mainstream, a mainstream alternative to high chemical input. For more information on these and other stories, visit our website. You can get there via tvnz.co.nz. <laughs>